Oh, well, nearly a month later. <laughs> this is quite daunting. Hello everybody and thank you for joining me eventually yet again uh, on the channel. If you're new around here, I usually make car videos once a week, which I haven't done for nearly four weeks now. But this video is mainly just for, as well as you new guys, the people that have been watching me for quite a while and wondering what the bloody hell's going off, really, in my life. <laughs> There's loads to talk about. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going like, to keep you here for an hour. I don't want to be that person who just talks for that long. But I will just tell you what I've been up to, basically. And why I haven't been filming. Why I've been filming but editing and uploading as often as I normally do. One of the biggest reasons is I recently got married. I actually got married um, just over two weeks ago from me making this video. So all you ladies, all you 2% of ladies probably watching this video in my demographic, you're too late, all men. I have had some surprising personal messages in the past. But it was an amazing day, probably one of the, be the best day of my life. It, it were perfect. Um, and I had a lovely time off on the honeymoon as well, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> because I've pretty much like dropped the ball with, with concentrating on everything else, I haven't really been putting anything on my social medias, uh, hardly anything at all, like once a week if I've had a chance. I've replied to so many group car group chats, YouTuber group chats, club group chats in ages. I'm lit I've literally just like full on with everything going off, fallen out of the loop, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm, I need to try and get back into that. It's been strange. Uh, weird not being in that world for like a group a couple a few months a few weeks sorry but it's also been nice appreciating time with loved ones for just with just no interruption that's been really really re-energizing shall we say i usually film my holidays as well and i just didn't i hardly took any photos which is literally relaxed um obviously leading up to a wedding there's a lot of stuff going off um that i need to put like priority and focus into so that's why I wasn't uploading as much because that was my key focus. As well as that being the biggest thing happening in my life at the time, there's something else that was preventing me from having any kind of time slash motivation to do any of this, which was I, well I still am a bit, but I was really ill compared to when I ever have been in my life. I've never had these things in my life. Um, I don't want to be too crude, I had a bit of a scare where there was blood out of me that shouldn't be out of me, if you get what I'm saying. Um, just said that on the internet. <laughs> anyway, obviously that's something that's quite scary. I've had loads of, I've been having loads of tests over the few weeks. Um, I've been having loads of different treatments. Uh, for it, wondering, trying to eliminate different things on what it is. And that started like two months before my wedding, which is great news. I'm still, I'm now referred to the hospital to go in and um, have, a, have a better look, but it's looking like I have something which is called a, a swollen bowel, not swollen bowel, an inflamed bowel, which is extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Pretty much everything to do with bowel or that side of things is just, it, my tummy gurgles before food, my tummy gurgles after food. It's just not good um, and it's painful and very embarrassing in public if I have to rush off anywhere, which was my main worry for, I didn't want to be at the wedding and be like, right, I've got to go. Like, especially like beside my vows, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, it, it was scary, and like like I said, you can imagine that being my priority and the wedding at the time. They're the things I needed to get right. So, as well as trying to have doctor's appointments and go in and see people and and try and get that sorted out, a week before my wedding, I started getting a lump on the side of my neck, about here, um, just behind my jawline. I'll show you like comparison photos what it was on one side of my face compared to what it looks like on the other side. You could tell a, a visual difference in my face, um, which didn't click until quite close. Thinking, God, I'm having photos all day every day, video all day as well. And you're gonna see this lump. It was that bad that it actually got in my jawline that I couldn't fully close my mouth. Eating was agony. 
and I got diagnosed with a swollen gland, like an infected saliva gland. But brilliant, one extra thing to add to the list. Uh, but the doctor was really good, I got some really good antibiotics, which finished their course on the wedding day, so it was pretty much clear by the time that day finished, which was, was brilliant. But I did get a phone call like one or two days before my wedding, and it turns out I had mumps. Like every bad thing that could possibly happen before this special day, just did. Um, and the only reason why I had a swab for that is because it's, there's been there'd been a high amount of that happening um, to people my age group. So they thought, oh, we'll just do a swab for mumps just in case. And I and I had it. Luckily, the antibiotics that the antibiotics that I had combated that as well, so it was absolutely fine. And what else was good is the antibiotics settled my bowel. So for the whole day, and for the whole honeymoon, I could eat and drink whatever I wanted, whereas usually some things would be a really bad trigger. I had no triggers, it was perfect. Um, but then I come back a couple of days later, the bowel's kicking back in again, and I'm now, uh, like I said, referred to the hospital for them to have a closer look, probably inside my bowel. Not fun. I'm sorry if you're not bothered about my medical history, and I'm sorry if you're not bothered about the details of the things that I've been going through, but I just didn't want you to think something was going wrong with the car or I just lost motivation with the channel. I had lost motivation, but one of the things, mumps makes you feel ill, and apparently one of the symptoms of, of an inflamed bowel is uh, fatigue. And I've been going to sleep early, every day, coming home from work, having tea, going to bed. As usual, I could stick up stick up i could stay up at any for you guys I, I didn't have the energy to do it so fingers crossed that's gonna get sorted i'm, I'm gonna be trying to get more focus into it again now and get some stuff out for you i have got some videos lined up i've got uh my stag do recorded which we went go kite for the stag do um i know i know it's like 50 50 on what, what you guys like when it comes to like karting videos but um i enjoy doing them and i enjoy karting so i'm gonna i'm gonna film what i enjoy that's the main thing. There is some foul play as well, some very foul play, so get ready. As well as that, I did a little surprise for Francesca for her wedding present, which I also vlogged that as well, the whole setup for that, so that's pretty exciting. One thing I really, really want to add in this video is um, in this time period, I've had things sent to me by companies um, that have been gracious enough to send me products for me to use and, and make a video with. Uh, sponsored me with the items and I haven't had a chance to make them yet and it has been nearly a couple of months uh, some of them that have been sent um, I'm just going to speak about a couple of those things now so you know what can be coming up what we're going to be putting on the car uh, and just to like keep everything in the loop basically one of the things is which I'm pretty excited about is the HRD performance short shift adapter it looks really nice quality um, it's actually in my shed at the minute because I'm getting it I'm, it's ready for me to go but I can't wait to install that and have that feeling of a short shifter before I can afford an actual short shifter so that's going to be really nice uh, and we can look at the quality of it and everything. It does look really nice, so I can't wait to do that. Also, big, like, huge shout out to MGC Automotive. He sent me some lovely um, rocker cover washers that look so nice. It's got like a, I don't want to put it too close because my autofocus is horrific, but it's they're, they're like a, a geared, like a cog style thing. Uh, the red is, is really, really nice. I, I did show it in my previous video um, when I went to Cars and Coffee. I was going to have the bonnet up, proper show it off, but I didn't get inside. So I did a, a brief expl explanation about these at the end of that video, but I wanted to properly show you them and show you the quality of them. They all come with O-rings at literally every single point. So you've got rubber seals all over it to make it nice and uh, secure. Uh, and you've also got these like the small red nibs that go on the top. I'll show you a really nice photo um, of them actually on the car. They are really good quality. Um, I'll put the links to everything that I'm describing in this video down in the description because they all deserve a, a decent shout out. Now this is, I'm really excited about these. Uh, the guys at Oaks Beam have sent some lovely LED headlight bulbs. Now, as you'll know if you've seen my previous videos, we have got the Night Eye um, LED bulbs in at the moment. 
but there's no with no projector lens on uh, an FN2 headlights it just dazzles everybody that's the only problem they're really really bright they don't really have a beam pattern at all so I've actually had to take them out for uh, my MOT because I don't want it to fail obviously now the Oaks beam ones probably cost nearly twice as much but there's a reason for that um, just look at this packaging though you get a nice Oaks beam sticker you've got your accessories section which is all your wiring and then your actual bulbs now something very very special about these bulbs other than i'm looking at something that's come from the future is the fact i don't know if you can see it when i'm tilting it but on the actual led itself it has an inbuilt projector lens on the led i'm excited about that i'm excited to see what that's like i'm excited to see if it's got if it's brighter but it's got better range if it's got better beam pattern just the quality of light in general. I know that I am communicating with those guys and keeping them up to date, but I feel horrific of how long that they're having to wait for me to put them on the car. So I just wanted to include that in as well and get them in a video. So like I said, you guys know what's coming for the car. Other than that, it's nice to be back in front of the camera and hopefully nice for you, for me to be back on YouTube. How weird does that look? Does it look really weird? I always think I've got really feminine hands. Caress me. Wow, look at that, we've done a video. Brilliant. So, please, please stick around. I promise, like I said, there's good stuff coming. I'm sorry if I've rambled on like I always do. I always say I'm not going to, and then I do, because I just don't want to leave information out. Please like and subscribe if you do like any of my car-related videos, or even just this video, if you enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing I did want to shout out, and I did promise that I would do this when I did get a chance to do it in a video. Um, a good friend of mine who's a YouTuber now, uh, the channel is An Ordinary Sim Racer. He, he does really cool sim racing sim videos and his setup is unreal. You want to see his C setup and he's basically got a full proper touring car steering wheel or F1, I don't know which it is. But it, 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 he's got a legit setup and it's really cool. Um, and he's one of the first people to, to, to send me something as a fan, which was the Mugen Reservoir Sock, which I have put back in the engine bay now. There's been lots of shots with that not in. It's because I was giving it a wash, mate, so don't worry. That's back on the car now. But yeah, come and check that out. Why not? Nice little shout out. Don't do it for everybody, but that's a personal friend. I'm shouting him out. So then, guys, until next time, like I always say, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. That's not a big enough chop. Let's get a big chop. Chop! Sure.